Hey everybody. Day 11. And it was a it was a rough day. It wasn't tears or sorrow or regrets or any reflection of any kind. Today was just raw, insane frustration, irritation, anger, and jealousy. So all the negative emotions kind of just like popped up this morning. I woke up and I was okay. And then I started thinking about everything and I was like, man, why is everything still moving on? What the heck are we doing right now? I gotta do a rosary later. I mean, can't I just, I gotta do a rosary and, and can't I just like not cook breakfast this morning and do we have to do anything today? I mean, I'd rather just turn into a blob of flesh in the middle of my bed and remain there as nothingness for just a day. That's how I felt this morning. Didn't even want to breathe. <laughs> Didn't even want to mix pancake mix. So I ordered IHOP for breakfast. And then I was going through Facebook and here are my friends that I love dearly, hanging out with their moms or something's happening and, and it's with their mom. And I'm like, dude, no matter what's happening, I'd be so thankful to have something happening with my mom right now, good or bad. Then I got jealous. Man, she got to hang out with her mom. Why is that? Why not me? You know, it's irrational and it's ridiculous, but it happened. That thought went through my head. The emotion of jealousy went through my soul. <laughs> Irritation for having to live today definitely hit hard. I don't want to do anything. Didn't want to help decorate for mom's homecoming on the 21st. Didn't want to cook. I didn't even want to breathe. Like I said, I just I had one of those mornings. So I stepped back and I analyzed it. Well, why are you jealous? Well, obviously, because mom's not here. I don't get to have my mom. What right does everyone else get to have their mother for? See, and that's the thing, right? That's a selfish thought and it's completely irrational, but it happened. You know, thought went through my head, emotion came through, and that's just how today rolled this morning. And so, you know, I stopped. I got embarrassed about my feelings. And I, and I walked through it. And I thought, well, I'm going to blog about it. Because grief isn't just all about the tears and the sadness and the missing mom or any of that. Celebrating her life, you know. And I know that she want me to, to live my life and keep moving forward. But today I was like, fuck that. Excuse my language. I just, why? What's the point? That was today. <laughs> Didn't blame anyone, thank goodness, but just was irritated with life and the world moving forward. And I seem to be hung up on that whole, why is everybody moving on and mom can't. I understand that's stupid, but that was the thought. Again, the grief brain just kind of taking over my life. I hate not having control. This this is horrible. Not having control over my emotions sucks balls. <laughs> but I thought I'd share it today because, you know, this is another aspect of grief. This is something that is new because, I mean, sure, I wanted to find somebody to blame. And yes, I want to know. I want to have a reason as to why she had to pass at the time she did, you know? Why now? There is no answer to that. And even Frank told me. He was like, you can't control cancer. Nobody can control that. And no one has control over death either, which is true. But I mean, I don't know. As a kid, I always thought she'd be here forever. I thought my parents would live forever, okay? <laughs> and that for some reason, that kind of stuck in my head, you know? So when mom passed, I was like, this isn't right. What? What the heck? Give her back. And I remember looking at her when she took her last breath and I remember thinking to myself, breathe, mom, breathe, you know, my want, but she, she, it was her time, you know, but yeah, so today was anger and frustration 
on jealousy and it's nobody's fault and it's completely wrong of me to feel these things in terms of how life moves forward and everything that's just you know but it was the it's just my grief brain just and it hit out of nowhere like I wasn't even thinking along those lines at all of being angry or frustrated I was trying to be positive through this process and reminding myself that mom gave me this life she gave all of us this life in this family and we shouldn't squander that we should live if not for her live because of her and appreciate every moment we have and I still believe that but boy that grief brain was like fuck that today you stupid we need to hammer down on everybody you need to beat the crap out of somebody go trash the house throw all the Christmas trees out the door that'll make you feel better that's that's what grief brain wanted me to do today violent man violent so yeah glad I don't listen to that but it you know all those thoughts came up and I just wanted to share because like I said not all not all tears and sorrow and 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 missing her there's a lot of emotions rolled up into losing someone and apparently anger irritation frustration jealousy is one of them well I wanted to share and I mean if, if you've lost someone and, and been through this part of grief let me know because I understand what it is and being completely conscious of how ridiculous these thoughts are but yet unable to control them oh so frustrating but hopefully me being the control freak I am I'm able to 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 pull back and step back and hear myself and like analyze everything I'm so fortunate for that but yeah let me know how you do it or if you've been through this in grief and if you just started grieving and this pops up you are not alone <laughs> it is a crazy ride and I don't like this part I hope it doesn't happen too often if ever again and on that lovely note Happy Friday, my loves. Thank you for being a part of my life and for listening. Bye.